guys, I'm um, Diane from Push Up Cycle here. Uh, this is a bedside flip. Um, I picked those up because I thought they looked a little bit um, ugly and I thought I could do something with them, which I did. But there was a lot of trouble along the way. Um, first of all, I sanded back the tops and as I was moving them, I picked them up and at the back, the whole back panel just crumbled. It was that um, balsa and um, chipboard Balinese course thing, and it just it just broke off in my hands. So pulled the pulled the backs off both the cabinets, and I had to replace that. And also there was some water damage on one of the panels on the bottom. There's a strip. I put strips on which framed the wallpaper I put in. But overall, the cabinets weren't in that bad a condition. It was just all these little finicky little pieces I had to do. So tune, tune in, keep watching, and we'll show you how we did it. So I'm now going in here, I'm taking all the hardware off and I label all of the hinges. They go back in exactly the same place. I tried to skip here. I tried to put the wallpaper over the rattan. I was so tired at the point at this point. I thought I'll just try it. These cabinets are giving me a lot of trouble, but it didn't work. So now you've seen me take it off. I'm now trying to get the back panel off, off there to get the rattan out. And it was just a nightmare. So now I'm using a screwdriver. I'm just trying to get in those little um, staples and wedge them out so I can remove this back panel. Oh, it took ages. And remember, there's four doors. So I've just measured the wallpaper up. I'm using a satin sealer. I've sanded the wood here so the wallpaper can go on um, nice and smooth. So there we go, it's going on. I want it central. I want the same on each door. And then I just go around and trim the edge. There we go. And also when you can see the rattan, which was on the other piece, this now becomes the inside, which I did sand off before I painted put more sealer on there just to hold it down a bit more that worked a treat then I'm picking the door it came off and put it back in exactly the same place and I'm gonna start hammering the screws in here but as you know <laughs> not very good on one of those little tables so I picked it up and I put it on the floor in a second and start hammering it back in So this worked out really nice, nice smooth wallpaper. You can see on the side on the bottom there, I put like little strips of wood going across the bottom. That was because there was a tiny bit of water damage for about three, four mil. I'm using the lemon myrtle cleaner here. Clean all the handles, just leave them in there soaking. I'm using a sleek 38 millimeter um, synthetic bristle brush, oval cutter. These are really good brushes. I use them all the time, they're my go-to. And I wanted just to see how the basin blocker went on wallpaper. I haven't tried this basin blocker before on wallpaper and with a brush and it worked with a brush. I also do rolling with that base and blocker now. It works just as well. So brush or roller, this product's really good and it gets really good coverage as you can see and i done two coats inside and out
I'm now using the Purico Inkwell in Silk and I'm using a roller from Sleek Brushes um, which really holds the paint. So I go in with a 38mm cutter from Sleek Brushes first and I get in all the cracks, crevices, then I roll. It just it gives it such a smooth surface and it just it takes less time. If you haven't used this product yet, you really need to try it. It is just so easy to use. Put on with a sponge and wipe backwards, forwards, move on to the next. Dries quickly and you can give it a couple of coats or you can just leave it as two coats, recommended. Um, you could put more on to build a cover up or you can mix and match the stains as well to get different shades. But as you can see, this is Storm and it just complements the ink well really nice. I'm going through the, the drawers. I've put some wallpaper in there from Kmart and I'm just now going on the sides putting the stain and glaze and storm just so that when you open the door it just blends in with the whole unit and tidies it up. I normally do a bit stenciling but on this one there was already enough detail on the piece so I just put the stain and glaze on the side. So now I'm moving on to the handles and because the handles were all grimy and dirty. I put them in the bucket with the Purico um, Lemon and Myrtle Clean. I just uh, let them have a good soak and then I cleaned them off. Um, then I let them dry and then I stayed there, st um, not stained them, I sprayed them with a gold satin finish. Just one of those cans you get from Bunnings. They're about $12 and a can uh, will last you six to 12 months depending on how much you're spraying in gold. Um, so I sprayed the handles. I, I've been waiting on feet coming from eBay, so I got this seller in. I got this seller in Australia, and it said quick delivery. And as you know, it wasn't quick delivery. Four weeks later, I'm still waiting for these feet. The cabinets are still sitting there. And contacted the seller, and he says, "Oh, they're coming from God knows where they were coming from, somewhere abroad, maybe China." And I said, "Well, no. I put in an Australian seller, and they still haven't turned up. Needless to say." They still haven't turned up. I actually went to another seller and they are in Melbourne and lo and behold, they came in three days. I probably paid about an extra $10, but at the end of the day, their feet came, but they came in black. So I had to spray the feet black um, from black to gold. And as you can see, the whole piece just blends in now. A little bit higher, a little bit more detail to the piece and I'm quite pleased with it. And now time for the reveal. These actually did come up <laughs> rather better than I expected. So all of these products used, um, you'll find in the links below. So Purico products, um, Sleek Brushes products, I'll put the links in below and um, enjoy.